Hello everybody, Happy New Year. Today I'm going to show you some notes about the Nikon S3 or the Nikon S4 camera. What you have here in front of you is the Nikon S4 in the process of being overhauled and um, I'm putting everything back see how clean it is now this is the slow governor it used to be dirty and corroded so it looked like where's a good example here okay don't think I have a dirty example so it looked dirty okay so on your left is a nikon s3 s4 retarder and the front and the, on to the right is the nikon f's <coughs> excuse me retarder so what's different well uh, basically not so much except for this tongue over here see how it's bent on the Nikon F and not so bent on the Nikon S series of cameras okay so I think I did a previous video on the slow mechanism of the <coughs> Nikon F so I'm gonna do another video now and um, I'm going to show you where you, sh you should um, look out for when fixing your Nikon S3 SP S4 camera and it probably holds true for the Nikon F as well okay so the oil here, 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 and here, and also on the pivot point of the escapement over here, 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 and here. Um, this one too. Mm, I'm not sure if you should oil this thing, it's designed to run dry, like in most watches. You know, I shouldn't be touching this too much, but whatever. I need to make a video for you. So this is basically how it works, okay? So that's one second, okay? One second, okay? So now, you see this tongue over here? There's a cam on the second curtain's base that's hit that hits on the tongue okay so that cam will push on this thing so when it does this it releases okay see it releases the escapement effectively cutting the retarder short so there's an ongoing problem with the Nikon um, F and the S3 series of cameras that we let's just call them the S3 sisters as an S3 SP and S4 okay and that's um, with the one eighth of a second and one fifteenth of a second um, speed going too long so one of the problem is a dirty governor okay so when you do this the yoke for the yoke and the escapement doesn't move up so what you should do is loosen this screw lift the yoke up a bit and flush this part with um, naphtha okay alcohol won't do <clears throat> because the grease the dirt there is not really soluble in alcohol okay so make sure that this does this okay 
pushing on the tongue will lift this because this thing is spring loaded. If it didn't, then there's something wrong. Okay, see, I will clean this a little bit more later because it's still kind of sluggish. It should act like this. This a dirty one, but it's still good. Okay. Okay, this is still sluggish, but whatever. <laughs> you get the idea, okay? So, mm -hmm. so that's it. That's it for the slow governor. <clears throat> oh, by the way, um, when you do this. When you push on this thing, it should move freely. Sometimes it won't because of that, and then you will have to clean it more. Okay, so this is also one of the things that can go bad. Um, in the um, instruction man manual, it's called the change over lever. Okay, so the change over lever here actually. Switches between engaging the slow governor nuts. Okay, so take a look at this. This is a Nikon F, by the way. See, it determines whether it engages the escapement or not. Okay, so now you know. So, you may ask, what determines how far or, uh, or how much this thing pushes on the slow governor's yoke? It's actually this. There's a claw over here that changes the its position as you rotate the shutter dial okay because on the shutter dial you actually have a series of depressions here that determines how much this claw is being pushed okay now I want you to pay attention on to this all over here. Now this hole should be in the same spot as this pin on the kidney wheel. I call I just call this a kidney shaped wheel. It's basically but it's actually a cam, okay? It's spinning as you make us an exposure. So if you don't do that and you Put this thing together it will squash the parts in there and cause a malfunctioning camera to happen okay i don't know but this s4 has always been quite rough to cock and everything i don't know why <sighs> okay so the brakes this is the brakes of the Nikon S sisters, Nikon S3 sisters and the Nikon F. I usually don't fiddle around with this much because it's dangerous. Okay. And one more thing. Um, this and this here are the light battles. Now make sure that um, it's not rubbing against um, anything. Okay, you want a good amount of clearance. Oops, did I cut this thing? Oh no, okay. See? As she cut the shutter, this thing is going to get a little bit thicker, okay? So I want you to pay attention here. So this thing is nearly touching. And you want to bend it out a bit, okay? You 
there you go not too much as you can see it has been bent out of shape already it's not straight but whatever okay because if this thing is rubbing against this um, silk curtain it's gonna cause premature wear and not only that it's going to um, affect your highest shutter speed because it's rubbing against this so it's not going to be consistent now one sure way of knowing if something is um, rubbing against the light baffle is you have to cock your shutter and position your ear close to this part or the other side and um, listen for something for a sound that similar to um, the cloth rubbing against something meta metallic like something like that whatever okay <laughs> have you ever scratched a vinyl record well it sounds like that young younger people probably won't won't understand what it meant but yeah that's how it sounded like okay yeah. so one more thing that that you have to um, be very careful about is um, oops is when what do you call this thing changing the what do you call this thing the curtains okay I'm not in the mood right now to make a video because I'm not feeling good as you can <laughs> hear from my wheezing and um, coughing and clearing up my throat but I'm, I'm gonna make a video anyway okay so when you ever have to change the shutter curtains make sure that the um, clearance for the curtains are correct see as you can see the rear curtain is overlapping the first curtain okay as seen from the front and it's about this much probably about a millimeter or 0.75 millimeter overlap yeah as you can see okay is that 0.75 millimeter I don't know but whatever you, you should basically see well this is basically two millimeter overlap so you basically should see um, probably 0.5 millimeters or maybe yeah 0.75 millimeters of the front curtain here and um, neither should be overtaking the other so if that thing's happening then you set your curtain wrong okay so there you go it only widens near the end okay but if it's over tightening too much then you know there's something wrong and you have to fix it so yeah that's it um I'm gonna finish this Nikon S4 so I can go out and um, fix my other cameras, buy parts and fix my other cameras. Or maybe take a rest. Anyway, that's it. Happy New Year. Bye bye.